Fox plays so many characters. But they've moved directly into grand finals on the loser side. The run back against Beast Coast Dragon with the ultimate comfort zone, the winner's side grand finals. For anyone joining the stream that may be unfamiliar with the double elimination tournament, tournament format, it basically means that Dragon has to win one three out of five and Sonic Fox Set. has to win a first three out of five, Johnny reset Jesus. the bracket, and then it puts us into a second three out yeah, of five. You pretty much have to knock the Set. winning side player into losers and then it resets and then you got to do it again. You know, that, 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 that is the price. If you manage to get into the finals through it, that is what you got to do. And Dragon, of course. I'm <laughs> looking, no, honestly, I'm looking. Dude, shout to cameraman being on that. <laughs> and just and shout to Fox for somehow on. knowing what camera to look at. It's almost like he's been on stage once or twice. Round but fundamentally, Fight. you know, we're going into this grand finals now. Fox was able to get the comeback versus Ninja Killer. But Dragon defeated Fox and went aside. So, I mean, I definitely think momentum wise, this is dead even. Split right down the middle. Both these players are confirmed for finals, long confirmed for final combat many months ago. But I'm just looking at the storylines. Can Dragon conquer Six the block I mean, and finally get a win here? This hasn't been the first time this has happened. CEO this year, Dragon was in winner's side grand finals. Six. And Sonic Fox reset the bracket, ran it back and won that tournament. And, and I remember Dragon was Jax. crushed after that defeat. He, he felt that for Jax. a long time. And now all this time, Ooh, hang on a minute. This is an old school matchup. This is a matchup that, you know, if anyone that watches Fox's stream, they'd fought off against Dragon many a time online. And Jax actually was a character that I think Dragon had quite a hard time with. So it's no surprise he's gone Jax here. But I do wonder how long it's been since Fox has actually played as Jax. Because I know Fox is one of those characters that plays, uh, guys that, uh, that plays a lot of characters, right? Got there in the end. That, but how, how often are you going to be practiced with them? Now Dragon, here we go. This is Grand Finals now. It all comes down to this. Dragon, he wants this first place so bad. And Fox, you know, they are not happy with anything less than first place. It's when you play at this level, anything but first is disappointing. And I think that's just a testament to how dominant you are. But it's hunkered down, Jax. That command grab and the just endless loop of crushing blows at your disposal. They make a big difference. And now Dragon back to the corner, just trying to fight out. Ooh, the clip. Oh, but wait, wrong hang height. on a minute, what? Oh, I can only assume it, I can only assume it was the wrong height. Here come the hands, getting nice and hot. Boom, overhead boys. Oh, the drop, the drop. That might actually spell disaster. Fox, no opportunity to break away, purely because that fatal blow was coming out regardless. And they're just saving the meter. There's one of those really expensive decisions though, right? You go crushing blow straight into fatal blow, two one-time resources, but the lead is there now. And yeah. Fatal Blow was the only thing that Fox could do to survive that, but not enough. Dragon on point. That Fatal Blow, whilst it seemed obvious, I kind of feel like Fox just put I a mean, lot of... I mean, what else could you no, do, right? I think it put a lot of faith into, if Dragon messes up the instant air, I'm actually going to punish him. So that was uh, absolutely, I think, just a why not, best case, worst case scenario. Oh, that is so Active good. frames, that natural barrier, and but again. another drop. Those guys are just not hitting their mark at all, and Dragon being fully punishable. Up three. Give me that turn back, mate. I want it. Oh. Now here's that Jax pressure. Fox has the two bars, though I'll be not to spend them. Saving that crushing loaf when it really matters. All right, more of that forward three. Whipping the projectile, but the pressure maintaining. Jump three at the last minute. That guy's just not gonna miss. Here comes some corner damage. Knocked down now, wake up up three. Stealing a turn once more. Bonk! Needs a little bit more than that. Nice plus frames, anti-air standing one. Jax is anti-air game so strong. Oh, Interrupt! No way. no way that was not going to get interrupted. One of the slowest amplified moves in the game is the uh, the thumper, the grenade launcher. Now Fox is spot by. They still has fatal blow, but I am fearful for it. Doesn't have the health to really take a projectile. <laughs> Dragon's waiting for it, but Fox oh, and there it is. At the last second now. I wonder if they're going to stick. You know, constraint to, to fire select. Now. Fox plays multiple characters, but we've actually I mean, he, seen he's trying everything. Jade hasn't worked, Johnny Cage hasn't worked, and now Jax hasn't worked. Johnny they still have a bunch of characters to work with. All right, Fox going back to Johnny Cage. We're going to see. It was close, granted. The cage was close, but now losing a game when Dragon already had the comfort zone. Only two games left. We might have a tournament finished very shortly. But this is a really safe situation for Dragon to be in, though. For someone that wants that first place to be win a side and a game up. Forcing off that Jax pick already, like th this is a really good situation to be in. Dragon has Round no choice, has one. to keep that composure. 
the maximum amount he possibly can. But outtake Johnny Cage, all this character needs is the life bleed, and then his arcing force balls actually cause full screen problems for Cetrion. I think that's one of the reasons Fox would pick this character. We saw shades of that, absolutely. When they fought in winners' finals, it's just Dragon had that extra room because the Jade pick before, giving up two games kind of unnecessarily, right? But there's the interrupt. Corner combo as well. Nut punch restand. The safety pushes back. But Fox more than happy to take that distance back up and start flinging these force balls. No problem, but there it is. Okay. Space out, jump in. Fox going to pay the price. The wake up attack blocked. And still trying to press buttons. Dragon not allowing it, but hang on a minute. Dragon trying to stay as safe as possible, enforcing the mid. Oh, <laughs> natural barrier on the backup. And this should be very, very close to a game being over. No trades, no longer possible there for Dragon. And trade at the last minute is going to take the first round for Fox. Ooh, the same. And I, I kind of feel like this is the character we're going to see Fox stick with the majority in this matchup. It just feels like it makes the most sense to me. Trip guard. That, oh, that, no, that it actually counter wasn't hit. even a counter hit. It just straight up hit him. I wonder why he got hit by that one. Maybe he tried to duck. Natural barrier. Does cause a lot of far, but... Oh, but you're seeing Dragon, the first time he's gone for a boulder in a long time, it just doesn't work. Just do not have the time. The force ball is too fast. Shuts down so much of those long-range options that Cetron is known for. And now a grab. Full screen once more. Having to sit and respect the jump three. Yeah, doesn't want to overcommit. Dragon's really mindful of those whip punishes. Here we go again. Fox completely backing up. No reason to overextend. Oh, punish. Beautiful punish. And a confirm from Up's Cut. Should be the game. No confirm, but at this stage, probably doesn't matter unless Dragon pulls off a miracle here. XC again, Fox just backing off, having no interest in being close range at all. There's the anti here, though. This is Dragon not committing to the geyser. And there it is. Down one into Rising Star. Nothing you can do about that one. Save Block String. You can amplify it for another hit if you want. If you're just trying to plow through last breath and. Chip damage, one of the best moves for that for Johnny Cage, absolutely. But you can you can see almost immediately why the, the character choices matter a great deal at this level of play. You know, it's all about tools. And in this instance, outtake outtake Johnny Cage. It is just the force balls in themselves. You know, it's the base kit plus the force balls that will just contest Cetri on full screen. He's not gonna but get bullied it's from the far speed, away. Right? It's how fast they come out, the trajectory they have, they're hard to avoid. They do move fast, they come out in the blink of an eye. And for someone like Cetri on that, she does have immense long range options, some of the absolute best in the game. They do still have a bit of startup. The whole point is that once she does them, you kind of have to hold them, but Johnny Cage doesn't even let them come out. The outtake. All right, enforcing, remember, that amplified rising star, it's actually safe on block, very reminiscent With of what Cassie's up kick used to be. But there's the pushback as well, that has the same kind of mind game. It's, it's not only is it safe to push back at the point with this fast, long range buttons, you can still, you can still press in certain situations, and what a combo coming through. Oh, the awareness! Using the environment interaction, okay, that's a whiff, but... Dragon doesn't want to pull the trigger on crushing blow just yet, just wants a positioning, a situation. The anti-air standing one, brave stuff from Fox, but... Cetrion has got, you know, one of those floaty jumps. Normally goes hand in hand with projectiles, but when you're trying to go for a neutral jump, a little bit harder to achieve. Oh, there it is. Walking down, tagging the low. And here again, very clean. Breakaway forced again. Not a lot of damage just yet, but it's definitely more about screen positioning I'm looking at. And there's the amplified arc. Remember, Johnny Cage has quite a lot of options, high, low, low, high, etc., etc. It makes the force ball game really unpredictable. There's the hot chip. Yeah, just in case, right? Just stick it out just in case yeah, he gets hit. A lot, of, a lot of the time you don't actually do it just to hit them because it's so unlikely to hit, but it's good chip damage. In this kind of matchup when you're replaying that War of Attrition, yeah, the, the throw is good, Sonic Fox. The grab's going to matter a great deal because now he's been thrown full screen, and Fox has the trades. Yeah, so it's all about the trades favorably, but the far teleport, knowing that Fox is going to go for the punish on the one, two, and the whiff punish. So classic, oh, the micro duck. Blow. Dragon has the fatal blow, so can bring it back if he gets a hit, but it's going to be difficult. No way Fox is going to make a mistake unless it's a big play to try and close this one out. Far teleport, ah, the dash. Fox wise to it. And this has been a most interesting time of events, to be honest, very, very close to a reset. Dragon. So you have to think really carefully because a reset is such a kill of confidence, if anything. And with the amount of crazy, like, 
I think or it is just right no, think back to CEO we, we saw this happen right it was Sonic Fox and, and Dragon Johnny Dragon Cage. on winner's side grand finals like not wanting to, to have a repeat of that happen again you know Dragon he's been looking for this first place for so long and again he is so he's at the final hurdle he can see it he can see the finish line but once again Sonic Fox is is, is trailing behind him and catching up now one game away from resetting the bracket, you do you know that is the last thing Dragon wants to see. It's a double it's a double-edged sword though, because Fox Man. is more than used to this tournament Fox. pressure and just how meaningful some of these matches can be. And Dragon, there's very clearly concern there. Like you can see that he's thinking about how much he doesn't want this reset to happen. Fox unfazed by it and he's playing <laughs> just as well. And here comes more of that full screen dragon. With Half-Life gone already, cannot play this full screen game at all. We're gonna get a confirm once more. Yeah, the natural barrier to try and stay a little bit safer just in case the breakaway happened, in which case he was right. Yeah, but he's still taking so much damage. Doesn't mean a whole lot. And he's trying to lay that pressure back on. Fox putting up the brick wall of defense. All right, clipped and there's no meter, but without the crushing blow, Centrion's damage, it's not the highest in the world. Yeah, no anti cross up. Dragon's not even gonna try and challenge that one. Look at the defense, like Fox has no intention on, on pressing anything at this close range. Wants to build the distance slowly but surely chip him down with the force balls, but and there it is. A rising star, so much of a pain in the backside. It's the safety. It's, it's the amplify safety that just makes it a real headache. Oh, he's looking for the dash in and Sonic Fox playing it one hit at a time. Finds themselves on reset point. Uh, ECT for Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh no! Damage. That was cute. He was like, pull one out. That's, that's what they were looking for there. That's a Twitter clip with Dragon's name on it, but not going to bite. And now, oh, but you can see again the speed. Cetrion, known for being able to set up that really irritating long range game, just can't do it against Outtake. Force Force's too fast. Oh. Caught the magical arc though, just underneath that one. But I really think one of the huge problems here has been damage. Dragon is just completely unable to out damage Sonic Fox. That's the nature of Cetrion spending all of our resources just to have the utility, right? Whereas Fox can kind of just sit pretty from full screen, get the damage from the force balls. No! Wow! Is that enough? I mean, that's a high damage opener for Johnny Cage that might actually kill. Would have had to commit it's gonna into be the close raw or fatal just blow. enough. That, that has to be it. That's it. Yes, and Sonic Fox resets the bracket on the back of a little crouch and a whiff punish into Fatal Blow. This is concerning if you're Dragon, because Dragon has been- Either Fatal? Oh, this one too. Dragon has been very, very vocal historically that he, he just wants to get that win. That, that, that's all he cares about at this point. He's sick of being second place. He was just able to conquer Sonic Fox in winner's finals. And how much of a boost of confidence can that be? Stolen away from you. Not even an hour later, as Fox has now dominantly reset the bracket. And I feel like, I fear that Dragon right now is just thinking about CEO. He's thinking no, that he doesn't want history to repeat. I, I, I definitely, I, I think Dragon absolutely deserves more credit than that. And as a man that's obviously been second place so many times, but knows what it takes to be first, right? Right now, he is thinking, what do I do in this matchup? Fundamentally, that's what it's going to be. Because Dragon beat Fox's outtake earlier in, in a game you know, four grand finals and winners finals. That was with less games to work It was. With, and that's it what was. I'm worried about. It was after... Oh, he said a little nod. He said a little nod. But it was after Fox had given up Something's two clicked. games with Jade, and it just didn't work. Yeah. And the cage was used when there wasn't enough breathing space. Now the breathing space has expanded significantly as we're going into the second three out of five. Oh. Okay, nice. crushing blow spent. Dragon spending most of the game as well. The opportunity to even get those counter hits, so using them while he can. Well, Dragon, I, the thing is when those counter hits were applied, he was actually committing into the Geist roll. I think he was being very, very, uh, I think, almost greedy with it. But Fox wasn't really using the breakaway because they don't care about the damage that Cetrion has without crushing blow. So I kind of think we just need to get the breakaway out of Johnny Cage to at least start putting a dent when we finally open the character up. That said, Fox maintaining this pain train it just keeps on rolling oh, and the punish. punish this is looking kind of scary mustard i gotta yeah, say sonic fox is running away with this you can tell he's, he's that they've really figured out the groove of the the way the matchup gets played and dragon just has not been able to respond yet 
And it, it, it is a game of damage. But that's what I'm constantly keeping my eyes on. There. Dragon's doing just a fine job of hitting Sonic Fox. It's just never anything that Fox needs to care about. I mean, this is looking like this could be like the patch of Johnny Cage. Beats Liu Kang, does well against Cedron. Like, is Johnny Cage the answer? I mean, or Fox, is he the new problem? Fox has said on Twitter outright that they think Johnny Cage is the best character in the game. Outtake S+, plus, their own words! Are we seeing that before our very eyes right now? I mean, I think there's a case for it. Johnny Cage, right now Dragon, goes for the close teleport. Fox maybe expecting the far one there. Doesn't pull the trigger on any kind of punish just in case there's a whiff punish. I love the, the level of just reserve here coming out from Fox. And just establishing some guaranteed Every force. single time Dragon goes for Hell's Wrath, it's just not working. The force ball is just a complete deny. Tries to Anya, but a little bit too early. Ooh. A lot of low profiling here, but it might not be enough. Natural barrier. I'm looking at the fatal blow with the jump back. What a choice there from Dragon. Doesn't have to worry about the trade then. Distance, and yeah. Can't get the button. Just do the special instead. And yeah, clean. Wonderful execution. Fox staying nice and safe thanks to that rising star. Oh, a little bit too far away for the standing one to hit. Tell they went for it. Tried to punish, but wasn't close enough. Ooh. So scary to be at jump distance. What a whiff punish! Coming out from Dragon. I've never seen Johnny Cage's like back three that low caught so early before. You can tell Dragon is absolutely trying his absolute best here to not let this slip through his fingers again. But it's all about the trades. And the trades are a pretty common problem for Dragon. Damage. Okay, there we go. That's where you see Dragon having a bit more confidence in those jump kicks to go towards those like geyser confirms. Safety once more. Reversal counter, meaning got caught pressing buttons on the back dash there. Oh, empty jump. Oh, yep. the crap. That empty jump was Dragon not wanting to get trip guarded at all. But the 1-2-1, one, one, or the 1-2 at the very least, is going to connect. A fatal blow on the table again. The game completely changes when Cetrion gets fatal blow. Okay, that's enough to kill. This is such a crazy game. Fatal blow on deck for both players. No, too, recovery. too little recovery. Oh, that was a big call out. Dragon tried some galaxy brain stuff there, but again, not enough. Yeah, that 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 teleport in place was clearly to try and bait him to do. Try and bait a button press with punish it from full screen. Like that was a. I have a situation in my head, and if this works, it's going to play out exactly as I think. But I mean, it would have been sick. Oh yeah, it would have been sick. If, if if that teleport forced Sonic Fox into Jesus. something questionable, then. That would have been the play, but back to player select we go. Confidence Dragon. booster, if anything, but uh, unfortunately, I mean, but this, this is a tough situation to be in. Like we know, Dragon. I mean, he plays a bit of Katana. Maybe Katana is the is the is the play here because the big thing is Cetron just isn't. It's it's hard to say because again, Dragon won in winners finals against this outtake, but this grand finals has been a different story. Uh, but that that the games that we saw the two players play in the winners finals, it's it's also Dragon. information gathering. Yeah. And uh, that information in Winners Finals might have been all that Sonic Fox needs to kind of just have the key to victory in Grand Finals. Like, we're clearly seeing a level of comfort that they didn't have in Winners with this matchup because, I mean, a couple of things didn't work out. It's a lot more optimized now. I think screen positioning is uh -oh. super key. But as I say that, immediately Fox is going in, which we haven't really seen much at all in this Grand Finals. I mean, if, if, if they're trying to adapt to a style they're struggling with, I mean, if you, you throw something a little bit wacky in there, throw them off, it's a bit more difficult. Dragon trying to get it back. I mean, used that breakaway so early and it's still not back. You can see the advantage Sonic Fox has. These floors box, three floors box back to back, trying to minimize this chip. Oh, okay, there's a hit, but no confirm. And the crouch again. Yeah, I mean, that second hit coming out, you had to hard dedicate to it, right? That's and another harder. time. Ah. These micro ducks from Sonic Fox to the rising star, the damage is just going out of control. Back to full screen. Which is where Dragon, it's kind of almost weird saying back to full screen, that's not where Dragon wants to be, I but know, that's the way the like matchup it, is unfolding. It's so weird, but that's outtake for you. That's what Johnny Cage Sorry. does in this matchup. This is the age of Cage. Nice punish there. The launch, and we're going to see even more damage to finish. Drops the 1 2 1, which does result in a punish. Thankfully, we are going to see a little bit of crushing blow activity. Breakaway's used for the last second. Fox hasn't really needed to use breakaway in this entire grand final. Wow. But there's a whip punish. Empty jump, standing buttons. No amplify, so the force ball can't full combo. That does actually combo very similar to the straight force balls. But without the amplify, Fox not quite able to get it. Knocked down again. Not 
terrible trade for Dragon, that. But, oh, hang on a minute. In that range, maybe not. Oh, watch oh, out! No. Heston on the anti-air too, just holding block for a little bit too long to be comfortable. Dragon has got Fatal Blender. will kill from this health, but I know Fox is looking at it. And those Force Balls recover crazy fast. Oh my wow. god! Wow! On another level right now, this Sonic Fox doesn't commit. No Amplify, but it doesn't matter. A down one is squeezing and just... How long is it going to be until Dragon I mean, can I, finally I, get a I, game I'm back? I'm still thinking about that Fatal Blow cancel. Fox went for a fatal blow, cancel it straight away to try and bait the jump. Dragon jumped, clean at the air. This is, this is a difficult situation to be in. Fox has clearly figured it's out the groove of this matchup, and now Dragon decides it is time to try something different. We're going to see the highborn Katana. We've seen this before, and it didn't work out, but it was damn close. Look, even if Cetrion is without question Dragon's main character, in this situation, if it, it's not working. It's clearly, clearly not working. Clearly, the way that Dragon plays Cetrion does not work against outtake Johnny Cage. And that's why Sonic Fox has gone to this character. But we'll see if the Katana, if anything, it's going to completely change just the flow, the Round momentum, one. the pace. Fight. And sometimes that makes a big difference. Whether it's going to make a difference here, I mean, remains to be seen. Highborn, a character Dragon has got a lot of experience with, and it's actually done pretty well versus I mean, we've, we've, we've seen Dragon be super close to making full comebacks with this character before in pro competition. I say almost because it didn't quite work out, but... We've seen it almost happen. It's been really close. Highball, of course, being a little bit more consistent in this patch. The Adenian Razors being a bit better to connect now than usual. But of course, the, the air fan universal change has helped. Just being able to get more for your buck when you go for the Molina dive kick. I mean, that, that's one thing that makes a big difference in this variation. But now, here come the fans. Dragon, consistently low on life. But at this health, definitely possible. And clipped once more. But not enough. Tries to oh, the fatal blow. Fox, yeah, Fox tries something cute there. If that fatal blow actually wouldn't have killed either. I do wonder if it was almost like meant to be Round dashed out of, but Dragon, Fire. not gonna let it happen. We, I mean, we don't really see it get put to practice, but there is the flash parry. You know, that, 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 that fatal blow results in uh, some wonderful parry situations. The cancel though. Fox opened up. <laughs> wow! Round two, get off me. Those razors are really plus. The fact that Fox got a down two out of it is really surprising. There's that tele kick though. Dragon it is going to be somewhat of an answer. No, it's not going to be the one size fits all answer, but one more. Here we go. Fox now, fits. this is the scary thing about Highborn, and another time. Every hit goes into Razors, which is plus, which means that the readers hit into Razors again. Throw on block, it's mad chip. Big damage, wow, seemingly no way. Wow. The game goes to Dragon. Okay, now, okay, straight to five select. This is where it gets dangerous because now, Sonic Fox has a lot of characters up their sleeve. Dragon is now locked into Highborn for the entire set. Oh, oh straight to Jaded. This is where it gets dangerous. I actually think that, um, Coliseum I imagine the, the glow will uh, go through the razors. But, but I mean, they didn't hit. waste time going back into no, character no, no, no. So th this is a game plan here, absolutely. The Adenian showdown, I'd like to see it. Semi-cannon, I suppose. But it also reinforces the fact that the outtake is a direct counter pick for Cetrion. Because the second Cetrion's not on the table, it's like, okay, cool, thanks, Johnny, see you later. Jade, hey, how's it going? Friendship ended with Johnny K. Oh, wrong, wrong stage, wrong Now, stage. Jade is my best friend. Wait, this is where it gets uh, interesting. I was going to say, there, 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 there's a Katana Prime in, in the crowd that's probably really happy Jade. to see Jade Katana. and Katana on the screen at the same time. In the grand finals of a pro Yeah, comp? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Good day for the fans of the Adenians, but it's going to be Highborn again. Locked in is Dragon now with this variation. One game though, two down. One away from tying up. Imagine that. Imagine if we get this game five on the reset. You know that's what. I mean, I that's, mean we that's all want to see it, right? Look, we all want to see that. That's game the Cinderella five. story. And that, that's all you can ever hope for in a tournament of this prestige. But got to get through one game of this Jade first. And that glow, I feel, might make a, a lot of difference for the time spent. Oh, surgical with the screen positioning. And immediately, no flawless block well, for you. Here comes this Nitro Kick. Well, I mean, if, if the Adenium Razors do um, get like, avoided by the glow, that does mean that if the glow is up, going for Razors on block is just a huge part of Highborn's game just won't work. But look at that, 270 damage for just that. String into razors, and on block it's like 6%. Man! Oh, but it's, it's so dangerous because it just op it does open up somewhat of a grab game with mids this damn good. But it's the utility, right? There's options from full screen. Hesitant on the anti-air dragon. Wants to be nice and safe so far. Ooh, clean jump in. And the moment he grabs, that's where the down two comes out to play. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, the disrespect. Dragon's pressing buttons. Grab again. Fatal blow in play, both sides. 
with. Doesn't overcommit, but the grab's gonna do it anyway. And that is gonna bring Sonic Fox onto tournament point here at East Coast Throwdown. But there's one more round to get through. Round we'll see two. if they can pull it off. I don't wanna call it so far. Dragon, that was a close round. This could be it for the tournament, but maybe not. Oh, the cancel into the button. Dragon knows. The Razors come through again. But reposition. Yeah, there's that nitro kick. We don't need the full string in this variation. With punish. That slight walk back was so good. Sonic Fox. Her escape. Dragon desperately trying to stay alive, and again the walk back. The wiggle stick, so good for whiff punishing. And another throw escape. We can see the wiggle stick again. That's what I'm thinking. He's waiting for the. He's definitely waiting for the glow. Oh, and the second he sees the projectile, Sonic Fox straight in with the glow. He's so ready. That opens up that game. Oh, still nice little confirm. Oh, up okay, three. Okay. It's gonna steal the turn. And now, danger territory for Dragon. Not a lot of life left. Not a lot of real estate. The oh, confirm. The that might be enough. Is that close? No, not enough yet. We still need a little bit more. The neutral duck. But he needs more than this. And the last breath. There's only one hit. The down one gets squeezed out. And it's going to be Sonic Fox once again winning another pro competition stop. East Coast Throwdown. Sonic Fox is the champion. New patch, same Sonic Fox. We're seeing new characters, but the result is still the same. Dragon. Unfortunately, falling at the final hurdle again on the back of a just absolute gauntlet of a top eight. Another winner side grand finals, but again, Fox just bringing in new characters, a new look, new variations, and just again, that, 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 that effective game style that works so well and has done this entire year. You know Dragon's not going to be happy with that, but again, you know, I have to say it, second place in a tournament like this is so impressive. I know it's not what Dragon wanted, but it is impressive, especially with the sheer level of talent and how unpredictable this weekend was. Every, players left, right, and center, fan favorites, pro competition champions, we're just, we're, we've seen them lose in pools, get out of pools on loser side, which is not something we normally see. So to make it the second place, really impressive. But Sonic Fox is the champion of the day with that jaded, that Johnny Cage, and whatever else, Devora, Jax, I mean, I could go on. It's almost kind of fitting to me how Jade hasn't